Hey everybody, my name is Ruth, and back in 2007, I took some photography classes, and my photography professor was um, Mr. Tim Mielke, and he's now teaching at Maranatha Baptist University, but anyways, I just want to make a video and show um, what I know about photography, and hopefully this helps to anybody that is pursuing their uh, photography dreams. So, in your camera, you have, um, in your camera settings, you have what you call is an ISO, aperture number, and a shutter speed number. So, the ISO numbers range from 100 to over 8,000. And then your aperture numbers range from 1.4 to like f22 and then your um shutter speed ranges from a 15 15th of a second to like over a thousand of a second um but it can even be less than a 15th of a second anyway so your is let's start off with the iso iso is to let how much light you let into the camera um so 100 ISO number is the lowest light you let into the camera and then when you get higher the higher number it's um you let more light in but it's more grainy the higher the number is and then the lower the number is it's less grainy it depends on people's preference what they like the grainy pictures might be artistic and then the less io the less iso sorry i got tongue tied there um it's not grainy so it just depends on um the person's eye and the photographer's eye what they like and then the aperture number um so that's how much depth the field you have so at the low number at 1.4 you're going to have a blurry background and then at f22 your background is going to be more sharp and clear um it just depends on what people like you want a clear background or a blurry background and then share speed um from 15th of a second or even lower or then a thousand of a second or even higher um it just captures um what you took like so for example inside um if you want a fast if you want to capture um sports you would need a, a higher share speed because it captures um the fast of sports hopefully that makes sense so if you want to uh, capture sports you need a fast shutter speed plus a lot of light because the um, gymnasiums use a dark um, but then if you just are doing a still shot you can do it at like I guess 30 I'm not sure that. Um, for a candle inside, um, you could do it at like 100 and ISO, and then you have a good shutter speed about 1 25th of a second, and you can add your flash and stuff. Hopefully, that makes sense, but toward the end, I kind of. Um, digress but anyways if you have any questions you can comment below or you can try to reach out to um, the, my instructor from Marinetta Baptist University um, anyways hopefully that makes sense and I hope to do more um, photography lessons like this thanks everybody also if you like this video subscribe today click the link below thanks everybody bye